Grand Island and uh, we did a little bit of grocery shopping for supper. And now we're just in the McDonald's with uh, some french fries and, and a coffee, biding our time. So we're a little early to doing it. I'm reading from the leader. Oh, one of your books? Yes. Yeah. And you were on Facebook for a while, right? Right. Yeah. And you're eating french fries? Yes. And you've got a coffee? Yes. Right there? Mm -hmm. Very good. And I am uploading the third video. We went to the Grotto of the De Redemption. And um, you may not see that for about maybe a week because I'm uploading videos and setting them to premiere um, from about seven days apart. And I'm trying to keep ahead of them in case um, we run into some areas that have absolutely no wireless at all. Uh, so that um, they won't, you know, be like a month apart. They'll be like a week apart. So, we went over some railroad tracks, not too fast, and they looked pretty smooth, but boy, were they not. Um, the truck bumped, and by the time the camper had gone over, I looked in my back mirror, and I saw it go up in the air and then come down. And this is the result. Okay, so I just started sweeping up a little bit. Basically what happened, those two cabinet doors flung open and it flung a plate from the back out from a slot onto the floor and also one of our bowls. These are Corningware, you know, the un pretty much unbreakable stuff, even though it can break, obviously. Million shards all over. So I'm in the process of cleaning this up now. So here we are at the Mormon Island campground and dinner tonight is peas, tomato, chicken, stuffing, and corn. Here's mine. I got the drumsticks. The chicken we picked up uh, is one of those pre-made ones at the grocery store. <laughs> we were going to uh, cook some but uh, it's intermittent rain tonight and uh, it's been a real hassle. So we'll do this and um, be done with it. Yes. Uh, yeah. Time to eat. Yep, it's good. Yeah, very good. Yeah, hi. We're on. Yes, we, we are. <laughs> okay, it's the next morning, and um, we're headed up the Route 2 on the uh, in Nebraska, the Sand Hill Scenic Byway. It's rated one of the top 10 scenic routes um, in the country. And we've been on a few of these in different places in the country before, and they're just, if nothing else, a really, really beautiful ride. Um, yes. and, and there's often places to stop on the side of historical interest and things like that too. So, uh, it's a cloudy day. It's quite cold. Um, maybe about 55, something like yeah. that. Yes. So we didn't expect this cool weather, but then again, if it was 95, we probably wouldn't care much for that either. Yes, that's so, true. So we just came out of a, a restaurant just, and had yeah. a good breakfast. Yes. Um, nothing's cheap out here, including the breakfast, but it was very good. And, very, um, very good. And that should, that should the take... The coffee was excellent. Yeah, the coffee was good. And they brought you a craft of it. It was great. Um, and uh, we... Um, that should hold us till, till this evening. Yes. Yeah, because it was that good a breakfast. So. Okay, let's so go. So here we are at the Sand Hill Scenic Byway Visitor Center. The only problem is... Weekday is 10 to 5, and it's pushing 11 o'clock, and they're closed. And all we need to do is get in there and get some brochures or something, but there aren't any. So I guess we're going to be winging it with the information we find online and uh, just by the seat of our pants. So, yeah, we do that sometimes. Sometimes you have to. It's too bad, though. Usually visitor centers give you all the information you need. Some are really big, have, vid have videos and stuff, and that's pretty good, but yeah. not this one. So no. 
Let's go, Joyce. Yep. Hey, We're going through the um, Sand Hill area now, the scenic byway, and uh, just a whole lot of um, sand dunes and the grass covered. So no. Bluff Campground, Mer Madnair Lake, something like that. Um, it's really quite beautiful. And what we've done is we've decided to stay here and lay over through Memorial Day weekend. So it's a total of about four or five days. But if we moved on, we'd have a hard time finding any place to stay. And even the BLM land is a little bit scarce. Um, and we would just park ourselves in a place that probably had no facilities. And we're already at a place uh, that we can stay because this is a walk-in site. So we can just designate how long we want to stay for two weeks. So we'll leave on Monday morning, which is Memorial Day, which means everyone else will be bugging out of the campgrounds. And uh, by the time we get to one, um, it should be relatively empty like they have been up until now. Uh, let me show you where we are and where we're parked, and I'll show you some stills. Here's the camper set up underneath these beautiful cottonwood trees. And there's a lake in the background. And the neighbors aren't too close. The next one is going to be way over there. And there's the bathhouse, a little far away, but it's doable. Some people are starting to come in now. We expect it to fill up over the next few days for Memorial Day weekend, but they won't be filling up where we are because we are here. This campsite is level. It's got these beautiful cottonwood trees to shade us. It's got full electricity. It has some firewood, which is um, all over the place. Um, I don't know what the fire status is yet. I, I haven't heard or didn't read about it, but everybody's collecting firewood. So if someone lights a fire, I'm next. Um, it has good cell reception. I have my antenna up and we're getting a bunch of stations from um, Scotts Bluff, the town of Scotts Bluff. It's got a great bathroom that is uh, either newly renovated or brand new. Uh, it's very clean, very modern. Um, it's going to uh, get a little crowded with that um, over the holiday weekend, but um, they've been in there every morning cleaning it up religiously and we're pretty much the only ones using it. So hopefully it'll, uh, it'll stay clean. We've been to the grocery store. Um, there is a movie theater in town. Uh, we might take you to the movies. Our, our two plans are um, the new Doctor Strange movie and possibly the new Top Gun. We don't know one or the other, or maybe both. I don't know one day after another. Um, and, uh, you know, the grocery stores and all that stuff, Scott's Bluff is about 20 minutes away, so that makes it very convenient. We went out this afternoon and we picked up a, um, a few groceries to get us by the weekend. Um, so that uh, you know, we wouldn't have to go out too much. We might go to the movies, but we wouldn't have to go out just to get something. So we, we will be fine. guess is that the water line way down should be probably the trees over there. This puddle is a lot smaller than it should be.
Great Plains. And uh, Platte River wore it down. This is all almost entirely sedimentary rock. With the lower layers being volcanic. Yep. And I'm having a regular burger with all the veggies on it. I'm walking around the, the back side of, the, of our campsite here and um, looking at all these beautiful cottonwood trees. Um, I guess they're similar to poplar we have at home, but uh, they're very different. Um, they're considered a kind of a junk wood. Uh, they plant them because they grow very fast and um, they, they need a lot of water, so you usually find them around water areas. I guess the, the pioneers used to look for groves of them because when they found them, they knew there'd be water in the ground. Um, and this, these, of course, are planted uh, near the lake, and some of them are massive. First of all, the bark is extremely coarse and large. It looks almost prehistoric. And here's a burl, an area that was at one point diseased and grew. This is about uh, two feet in diameter. It's a, a large burl. If you were to cut that open, I bet the grain of the wood would be swirled and be beautiful. It would make a great top for a small table. I managed to come across one that is down. And I followed it to the end and found some branches that were still living. And there's one way down here that had a living branch with leaves on it, but it was broken, so it was a little bit brittle. And I was able to break a piece off. I'm trying to find a couple of short pieces in there. I don't know. But possibly we might try making a fishing lure when we get back. If I do, you know, I'll post it. I always do. I've been collecting some of the uh, old branches. There's a lot of them around here, possibly for a camp flyer later this evening or later this week. And one thing that really never ceases to impress me, I'm not going to say amaze me, but impress me, is when we get out to the Midwest, um, just how truly friendly and nice the people are here. So, Midwest, you're from the Midwest. I'm impressed with the people. Hello, good morning, everybody. We're here at the uh, beach. In a tear lake. Big beach. It's a gorgeous day. Blue sky and the water is, I don't know how cold the water is, but it's a little windy. Well, it's 55 degrees, and we're sitting out here in a breeze. <laughs> so, so <laughs> yeah, we won't stay too long, I don't think. But we are in the sun, yeah. so that helps a bit. And we got coffee. And we are sitting on Lake Bottom. Because all the way back, and about 30 feet in front of us, 
um, is where the original lake bottom is. It's just the water level is so low. So this is probably maybe seven or eight feet above us at one time, from what I can tell where the, where the water line is up there. Yeah, it's just too bad. Yeah, but it is pretty. It's funny. We, we come, we travel to sit by a lake, but we live on a lake in Maine. <laughs> but yeah. being by the water is, is always nice. this weekend. It's supposed to get like in the 80s. Maybe we'll go test the water and see what it's like. Bring a bathing suit? Yes, I did. Good. I don't know. I might stick my toes in the water, but I don't know. I think we'd have to, we'd have to walk out about 50 feet before we, we get up to our waist, I think. It looks, looks pretty shallow out there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it does. <laughs> We're back from seeing Doctor Strange, and like all those other movies, they were Strange. It was strange, <laughs> but it was good. It was a good diversion. Yes. Yeah. This is how far we've come in the past 16 days. Um, at the end of the green line, you can see where we are now in Nebraska, and uh, we're about to uh, make our move into Wyoming, and then down into Utah. Thank you.